Okay, so um, we will now start with our next uh, step. So we just installed ROS2, of course. We installed it on our Ubuntu 20 VM. We installed in the in the first step. And now we want to install the F110 simulator. So you can see already you have this open here. Um, a simple way to do this is just to Google for F110 simulator ROS2. Now it's important that you choose this distro, so F110 Jim Ross. Um, of course, you can also directly Google for this. Um, so there's other simulations flowing around, but they're not actually not working. So if you look into here, we can see that, um, okay, we have already installed ROS. We want to install the F110 Jim. We haven't done then that, so that's the first step we have to do. Now, before we do that, um, we just have quickly have to do one thing, and that's install a specific NumPy version. Um, you would do this with this command, so pip3 install numpy equals equals 1.22, because the version we have um, normally, I think that's 1.18 or so, doesn't really work. I've already done this, so for me it says a requirement already satisfied. For you guys, it should quickly download 1.22. Okay, so, well, we want to start in our native folder. You can see we don't have anything in here yet. Um, we can do this with CD, so before I was in a in a... Um, workspace called sim, sim underscore workspace with cd just which stands for uh, change directory just go into our home workspace here so one by one we will now just simply you know copy the stuff out of here into our workspace and so we could clone our gym we pip3 install that now you can see that it's uh, downloading some stuff some stuff already um you know, satisfied. I've tried this before, so it might look a bit different for you guys, but I'm basically it's just, you know, installing all the necessary stuff it needs for this. And yeah, you can see this here. So it's successfully installed everything it needs. Then in our next step, we're going to install the simulation because now we, all the prerequisites are already satisfied. Now, okay, it says we have to go back to our workspace and it wants to make a directory called sim workspace slash source. We can now see this, by the way, in here as well. So we just installed f 10 gym. This is our new sim workspace. And with minus P, it says, okay, we can also do like subfolders in it. So we want to do sim workspace. And in that, we want to have another folder called source. So we can look in here, sim workspace. Yeah, there's a folder called source. Okay, now it wants to go into that source folder. We'll do that. Clone our f 10 gym ROS. Fantastic. Now it tells us, okay, we have to update a parameter to a map file. Go to sim.yaml. Okay, so, um, you know, let's say we're in our home folder. We want to look for sim.yaml. Well, we can guess that it's in our sim workspace folder, of course. Um, but, I mean, I'm a bit too lazy to look through every folder and find this by myself. So I'll just use the search function and type in sim.yaml. Double click on here. And our sim.yaml file should, yeah, there it is, open. Uh, we now have it like as like a text editor. And what do we actually have to do? Well, we have to change the map uh, path parameter to point to the correct location. So I can already tell you this is a pretty small file, so we can just go down. Oh, here's the map path parameter. Okay, perfect. Now, of course, it means it's like some path uh, in our folder system that should point to Levine. Again, we could like manually look where Levine is, but we can also just use the search function again, type in Levine, and we have two files that are called Levine. So I guess that this path should generally point to that folder of both files. You can see they're in the same folder as well. And then, you know, it can select afterwards if it wants the PNG or the YAML. Okay. So we have uh, the folder we just right click on before on Levine and Click to show item location. Now we want to see exactly where this is, so we're going to hit properties. It's simply right click, uh, right click, and then properties. And in here, we're going to put this a bit larger, and we can see the entire parent folder, right? And now we can see, okay, it should be your home directory slash sim underscore workspace. This means that we need everything before sim workspace. So just hit Control C, open up our text editor. We opened it before again. Go right in front of here, just hit Control V. And I can see that there's a star here. This means there's unsafe changes. I'm just gonna click save and we can close this now again. Okay.
that's it. We now point it to the right part. It now says we want to install dependencies with raw step. We're going to source it. CD dot dot just means we're going to go back a single folder. So you see we were in source before. We're now back into sim workspace. So one folder before. And now we're going to install some ROS dependencies. Oh, this didn't work. Sorry. Just go there again. Control C, Control Shift V because we're in the terminal, right? And now this should work. So for you guys, again, I've already done this before. It's going to show you like a lot of stuff installing. For me, it just says, okay, all required raw steps installed successfully because I've already done this before. Now we're supposed to build the workspace. We're going to hit Culkin build. And fantastic. Yep. One package finished. Now we can actually run this already. So back here, we have our underlay we have to source if we want it want to run it. So we're going to do that. Control C, Control Shift V. Same thing with our overlay. So the underlay points to that in general, we want to use ROS. The overlay points to, okay, we want to use this specific workspace we just built. And now we can launch our simulation. And this is a very common fault. Um, so this might take some time, right? You saw that there was this white th uh, thing. Now, if this white thing doesn't disappear, very important, please, um, you know how we installed pip3 before, please do that. And then if you've, um, if you've already installed all the other stuff, please delete this folder and delete this folder completely and start up here again from this step on right this is a pretty common occurrence for a lot of students now afterwards again this uh the white box will be there for the beginning but it will disappear pretty quickly okay fantastic so we can see that our simulation works right we can see our car here with all the wheels with the sensor on the top and now we also of course want to control it so we'll just open a new tab i just right click on the terminal new tab now I have to source my overlay again, of course. Uh, sorry, underlay. I have to uh, source my overlay. And now we can look back into our documentation. We see down here, keyboard teleop. We can just copy this command out here. Control Shift V. Run this thing. And it explains us how the teleop works. So. We want to move around so we can use U, Y, and O to move forward. So I'll just quickly show this. If I tip I, you can see the car moves forward. If I tip O, it'll do a left, uh, right curve. U, left curve, I go straight again. If I press Q, I'll get faster. And if I press, for example, now K, it'll stop, right? So have some fun, play around with this, uh, see how it works and enjoy and thank you for paying attention this was the entire prerequisite so from installing a virtual machine to installing the f110 simulator